This LOS is described default probability and loss severity as components of credit risk. Credit risk. Although it is sometimes important to consider the entire distribution of potential losses and their respective probabilities, it is often convenient to summarize the risk with a single default probability and loss severity and to focus on the expected loss. So the expected loss equals the default probability times the loss severity given default. The loss severity, and hence the expected loss, can be expressed either as a monetary amount, for example, 450,000 euros, or as a percentage of the principal amount, for example, 45%. The latter form of expression is generally more useful for analysis because it is independent of the amount of investment. Loss severity is often expressed as a one minus the recovery rate, where the recovery rate is the percentage of the principal amount recovered in the event of default. Because default risk and default probability is quite low for most high quality debt issuers, bond investors tend to focus primarily on assessing this probability and devote less effort to assessing the potential loss severity arising from default. However, as an issuer's default risk rises, investors will focus more on what the recovery rate might be in the event of default. Quick little practice question to check our understanding. The two components of credit risk are default probability in A, spread risk, B, loss severity, or C, market liquidity risk. Okay, that should be a fairly easy one. I highlighted in bold what we saw in the first slide. Expected loss equals default probability times the loss severity given the default. So B is correct. The two components of credit risk are default probability and loss severity. Um, in the event of default, loss severity is the portion of the bond's value, including unpaid interest, an investor loses. A and C are incorrect because spread and mar market liquidity risk are credit-related risks, not components of credit risk. So you need to understand the two components of credit risk are default probability and loss severity. And one last practice question to finish this LOS. For a high-quality debt issuer with a large amount of publicly traded debt, Bond investors tend to devote most effort to assessing the issuer's A, default risk, B, loss severity, or C, market liquidity risk. The correct answer is A, for a high quality debt issuer with a large amount of publicly traded debt, bond investors tend to devote most effort to assessing the issuer's default risk. Okay, so credit risk has two components, default risk and loss severity. Because default risk is quite low for most high quality debt issuers, bond issuers tend to focus more on this likelihood and less on the potential loss severity. So I put in bold green there, expected loss equals the default probability times the loss severity given default. And again, uh, that was just a copy paste from the pre uh, previous slide because default risk, which is also in brackets, you can see default probability, so be careful with the language there. Uh, default risk, default probability, talking about the same thing. Uh, bond issuers tend to focus on primarily assessing this probability. And by this, they mean the default risk, default probability, and devote less effort to assessing the potential loss severity. Okay, so that's a nice uh, slide to end on, and that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.